Hi, welcome to NC3's learning management site, nc3search.com. We at NC3 are very excited to have you on as a partner, and I look forward to working with you. My name is Nick Gill, and I am the NC3 Certification Coordinator. I am your main resource for questions on all things nc3search.com. Today, I'll be walking you through using the site and getting started. If you are watching this video, you have already completed the hard part by completing your training, purchasing equipment, and being verified by submitting a new school request. Remember, if you wish to offer a certification at your campus, and you've completed your training and have the required equipment on site, you'll need to submit a new school request found here. This applies even to existing campuses. If you want to add a new cert, fill out the form and hit the submit and I'll be happy to take it from there. This video is intended for instructors. If you aren't an instructor, be sure to watch the campus administrator or site support video help files. The first step is logging in using your school email address and the password that you have set previously. Once you log in, you'll be taken to the certification tab. This is where you'll see the schools that you are associated with and the certifications that you have access to. You'll only be able to access curriculum and to teach search that you have personally passed. Now, let's take a quick tour of the site. The NC3 logo. This icon will link you to nc3.net, nc3's homepage. This is where you can register for upcoming Train the Trainer events as well as keep up with NC3 news. The Certifications tab is where you will view curriculum, take exams, and assign NC3 certifications to your students. Reports. Here you can run reports, bulk print student certifications, and see how your students did on their tests. Schools. Your basic school information will be displayed here. Groups. You could create and manage groups from here of students all at once, an easy way to manage classes, periods, and semesters of students. Users. This is where you will find and search for all of your students. You can reset passwords from here as well as manage user accounts from this tab. The Documents icon is where you will find Snap-on, Train, and other corporate partners' marketing material, as well as supporting documents for NC3 programs. And finally, the question mark icon. Click this to view all the help files we've created for you to use to help you learn how to use nc3search.com. This should be your first stop for questions on using the site. If you're unable to find the answers that you were looking for, go ahead and submit a help request and I will help you from there. To get started certif issuing certifications, you'll first need to review the instructor curriculum. This can be found by clicking on the eyeball next to the exam. Remember, all schools that you are a part of are listed on your page, and at some, you may not have access to curriculum. You'll need to have completed the verification process described earlier in this video for each certification in order for anything to show up under your school here. Be sure you select the eyeball next to the exam under your school's heading. Once you have selected the eyeball, the exam's detail page will come up. Here you will find the instructor curriculum. Click the hyperlinks to start the download to your machine. Be sure you always download curriculum before each class. NC3 is committed to up-to-date curriculum and so is constantly updating the materials. You want to make sure that you have the most recent version of the curriculum to deliver. It is also a good idea to review the curriculum before starting the class. We don't recommend that you store curriculum on your local machine or on a jump drive. The View Curriculum button here could be clicked to view the student manual. This manual opens in a separate tab and is the preferred method for providing students with the student curriculum. They will have access to this whenever they have been assigned to an exam. We do provide print files of this manual for you to print for classroom copies. Just remember to check the curriculum changes before your classes if you plan to use the print option. Once you have reviewed the curriculum, and are ready to teach your class, you'll need help from your NC3 campus administrator to enter your students into the system. The campus admin is responsible for doing this for all instructors on your campus as only they can add new students to the system. Once in the system, you'll be able to fully administer the student's accounts. However, your campus admin will need to create the account the first time. NC3 campus admins are school-wide and your admin may not be in your department. Work with them to ensure you are meeting your institution's program policies and procedures for creating classes. Once your students have been entered into the system, you are now ready to assign your students to an exam. First, click the Certifications tab. 
Then click the house icon next to the certification that you wish to assign. The system will take you to the Assign page. By default, it brings you to the Assign User page. To assign by the group, click the Assign Group button here. Search for your group and click the first toggle. It will change from gray to green, indicating that you have successfully assigned the group. Your students will now have access to the student manual, but will not be able to attempt the exam. You are now ready to teach the class. Remember, this is a hands-on guided class. You are welcome to break it up over the course of your semester, but be sure to cover everything. The student should complete all labs with you present. Once you are satisfied that the student has mastered the material, they are ready to attempt an exam. You'll need to certify that they have completed the labs. To do this, repeat the steps in a sign that we covered earlier, but this time select the second toggle to certify the labs. Your students will now be able to attempt the exam. When you assign students, you are assigning them to three attempts at the exam in a 100-day period. Your student will need to pass the exam with at least a 70%, and if they are unable to do this and fail all attempts, they cannot be granted new attempts until their access expires. You will be able to grant them new attempts once this happens, and they can try again once they return and retake your class, but they cannot be reset or granted any more attempts until that time. If your student requires IEP or ADA accommodations, be sure to provide these to them before they attempt an exam. Congrats, you are now on your way to issuing certifications.